Welcome back to the podcast, everybody. Jeff Lund here. Been slacking a little bit on the podcast, but my energy has been going in positive, creative directions. Uh, trying to get that book out. I think I'm going to try for uh, April. I uh, did a read. It's crazy that I sent what I did to the publisher and that the publisher liked it but didn't publish it because, man, I'm going back and I'm you know, reading with a more detailed comb. I think, how did I write that sentence? Like, that's not... I would write out rather than, like, our. And, oh, gosh, those typos. Like, how do you not catch those things? It's crazy. Uh, so I've been uh, looking through some of that. And then also, um, just content-wise, make sure that I was... Uh, wording things correctly and actually Abby's been critical in this because I don't know maybe it's her scientific nature but she's able to find so many of those things I think part of it too is she's she's very diligent she's very dialed in um, so she can fine tune things and she can read things critically and closely Um, but there's also something to be said for someone else reading your work because your brain doesn't fill in gaps that <clears throat> that um, others might not. Um, you know, when you're, you're reading something that, that you wrote, your brain is going to say, oh, yeah, we're good to go, and, and maybe not catch those things that someone else is going to catch because they didn't read it, so they can read it more closely. So uh, she's been great uh, doing that, and i got to add a couple of consultants. Currently, they're looking at it, and these are expert consultants, uh, it kind of represent parts of the audience, the people I'd want to read that, and there are also people who are going to tell me what's what's weird, what's messed up, what's uh, what's good about it. Um, so I'm, I'm encouraged to get their feedback because they're not the type of friends who are just going to say, ah, hey, man, it's great. You know when you're peer editing stuff when you were a sophomore in high school and your friend had a green pen or something and just wrote a smiley face and said, great job, I love it, and then you get a C on it. Thanks. Hey, thanks for reading that. Gosh, it was great, according to you. Peer editing sucks often. Um, so I have it at um, with three friends who I know are going to give me some good feedback, and that's I'm excited for that. So I sent them some, some goodies um, to pay them for their services. Uh, not, it's not an official transaction. I'm getting myself in trouble here for... No, it's tax season here, and if they're doing uh, unofficial off-the-books editing, you know, whatever. But excited to get that out, so that's kind of been taking over my brain. And then a separate writing project. Part of me has missed the sports writing. I got a degree in journalism from the University of Arizona, and while I was there, I was covering sports. and covered the men's basketball team. And I, I kind of miss sports writing a little bit, so I'm working on some working on a writing project about uh, Region 5 basketball uh, and just kind of the unique... The, the travel, the tournament, the everything about Region 5. Um, so I'm looking into that. and It's kind of funny to think about some of the memories from high school sports, you know. Uh, knowing, of course, that some people have never really let it go. And that's kind of sad. But you can look back and say, man, that was a crazy game. Or, oh, I remember that game. Remember when this guy did, was, was you know, just went off. There was a guy from Huna when I was a junior they were seeded probably fourth or fifth, and they upset an undefeated team in triple overtime. Then they upset the number one seed that waxed us, and then went all the way to state championship. And just like, dude, that's crazy. You know, it was just like that March Madness run, but because it wasn't, you know, a college basketball team, like no one probably remembers unless you were in that gym, you know, in 1998 or whatever that was. So. Yeah. We start remembering things like that. It's just like little details, and it's kind of fun to look back and kind of smile and laugh and go about your life and not say, oh, gosh, you know, that game was the turning point in my life, and because we lost, I, you know, whatever. Or because we won, I thought I was all in. You know, so that happens too, which is kind of sad, but I've been tracking down some people. It's been fun to talk about some of those old memories. So, After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, If we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I first heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month, I thought, what's the catch? But after talking to them and using their service, it all made sense. There isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless service 
online only. They cut out the cost of retail stores and pass those sweet savings directly to you. For anyone who hates their phone bill, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. I was hesitant about having to get a new phone and a new phone number, but with Mint, you can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone and your same phone number along with all of your existing contacts. Mint Mobile gives you the best rate whether you're buying for one or for a family, and at Mint, families start at two lines. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and to get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash waypoint. That is mintmobile.com slash waypoint. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash waypoint. Um, that's, uh, that's a project that I got. So I got, I got a lot of writing projects going on, which is pretty sweet. But I wanted to make sure that I got... Um, got the podcast out because I can't let stuff slip. I think the podcast has been important in articulating ideas, talking to people, uh, being more comfortable. You know, as, you know, Just because you have a journalism degree doesn't mean you're a good interviewer. Just because you write doesn't mean that you're you know, a good talker or you're a good interviewer. So uh, it's, been a, it's been fun to, to talk on the podcast and, and keep that going. So I will and Another part of me is like, dude, it's only like 10 minutes. When you do solo episodes, it's 10 stinking minutes. So even on weeks that you, you know, can't track someone down, it's 10 minutes, man. You can afford 10 minutes. I'm not so busy that I can't afford 10 minutes. Just put 10 minutes out there. And if maybe that's the takeaway from the, you know, no one cares about, you know, my writing projects. But 10 minutes. You're not too busy for 10 minutes. Same thing was like working out, right? I'm just too busy to work out. You can't do 20 minutes. This is me yelling at myself too. Like whatever I say that I'm too busy, 20 minutes. You can't afford 20 minutes. You can't get 10,000 steps. There are days that I don't get 10,000 steps. I'm like, dude, what did you do? Yeah, I worked out in the morning. Okay. You know, but just 10,000 steps. Just go for a stinking walk. Like you're not too busy for that. So I haven't prioritized things enough. So um, I deprioritized my podcast because I tricked myself into believing that I was 100% busy and booked with my other writing projects that I am excited about. And I have been doing a lot of thinking and note-taking about it, but uh, 10 minutes, man. 10 minutes. You can do 10 minutes. So, so 10-minute podcast. There you go. Um, if you do happen to have any memories of some, some Region 5 basketball from the, I know I got some listeners in the southeast, so I know you have some memories out there about the, uh, and I got some people in the 90s and 2000s that have been listening. Um, yeah, shoot, shoot me a, a, a message and uh, maybe uh, maybe chat it up a little bit. But yeah, there's there's a lot of good stuff out there, man. A lot of, a lot of good stuff. So call that this episode. Take care, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.